Semeli dynasty baya. As last at awale, dynasty ni mbaya. I think Uhuru had seen what was going to happen uh, in this government. And the reason why I have decided to begin with that clip is that I want us to ask ourselves that President William Samuel Ruto today intend to say that things are tough in Kenya. And uh, I ask myself this question. If things are tough in Kenya, why couldn't he allow Uhuru to rule or seek advice from Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta? Because it seems that he's telling us that Uhuru is the one who made things to be tough. What is he saying? I am happy that I am the president of Kenya. When things are tough, because when they are, it needs someone like me <laughs> to lead. If it was someone else, Kenya will have already sunk. And uh, I don't think that is the right, the right speech president deserves to give Kenyans as they are really, really suffering for this economic crisis. I want us to read Proverbs chapter 12 verse 15 says that the way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a person who listens to advice is wise. So this goes to Kenyans and also to the president. Kenyans had done a mistake. They were convinced by sweet tongues. That one tells you that when the deal is so good, think twice. Ruto enticed Kenyans like a man seducing a lady and trying to brag with a kahaya or trying to brag with loan money or trying to brag with brotherhood or inheritance. Then the lady gets into love. Then after that, things turn worse. Why couldn't this lady just search for a man and start from zero? That is what Kenyans lacked by that time. Now we are regretting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to our YouTube channel, Zion Kenya TV. I believe that this video is going to find you well, wherever you are. I want to take this golden chance, actually, to thank you very, very much, members, for the great effort you are doing through your subscriptions, like, and also comment. May you continue with the same spirit and our good God bless you so much. You are making this channel to grow big. Our aim is to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this month, of which is possible. And I believe as I am seeing your effort, you are making it to go far. Keep on with the same spirit. And if this might be your first time again watching me at Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel, Kindly take a one second and subscribe. Watch the video, like the video, share and give us your opinion. I'm very shocked that today the president was speaking in Dagoretti. And if he's saying that things are tough, is Uru the one who made things to be tough under his administration? As I've just displayed Uru Kenyatta and what Ruto have said, and even what I'm still repeating from the writing I'm just displaying. And today's analysis we want to analyze. Why is Ruto saying that Kenya could have sunk? It means that he knows something secret. And I will still keep on saying that president need to seek advice from the ex president of Rumigai Kenyatta. Advice is always very essential in human life. When you humble yourself, you get uh, teachings from somebody. Then after that, you will understand better. That is what Ruto lacks. He lacks wisdom and he don't want to be corrected. He lacks firmness and he don't want to listen to Kenyans. Things are going apart and yet is seen. Believe me or not, God willing, before 2027, our country is going to sink, as Ruto is saying.
and it is simple is either invest to recover the economy to avoid or let him avoid traveling in each and every country across the Africa across the world like USA China Middle East the rest I don't want to mention the name and reduce also the some government office then Ruto is going to be on the right track I want us to read some of the comments here from Kenyans after Ruto had just today felt Kenyans with a nightmare on that unwanted speech that Kenyans don't deserve this is what at Marvin Tubia is saying four hours ago very clear he sees himself as though he is clever and sees others sees other Kenyans as zombies sorry but in 2027 he shall be shown the door out it is such a disappointment God help us it's very sad Kenyans have now felt the pinch on what Uhuru told them we disobeyed and we are now enjoying this painful life the truth is that ladies and gentlemen life is getting tougher if it is getting easier for you you have a enough time to thank god so many kenyans are suffering and from this today's president speech ruto have seen that kenyans are vulnerable he knows back on his mind in his mind that life is really getting worse to kenyans and i'm very much sure that he can rectify this who is behind this man that is what we want to analyze that way. if ruto is saying that things are tough in kenya the commander of defense forces the boss in the country i want us to view at this that president feeling his people is feeling his people is sorry is happy about hardship yes that is what president seems to feel that kenyans are happy about hardship because from that writing i've just displayed it seems that he is bragging that saying it needs someone like him like me like him <laughs> to lead so he is he understand the hardship better than kenyans the one speaking that way the son the, the the his family can never sleep angry will never sleep angry will never lack anything in their life even if they want to go to dubai they just take a second and go if they are sick they have personal doctor who treats them then coming to kenyans and lying for them that he is the one suffering most than kenyans somebody somewhere have slept in the street with a sober mind it is not because he is not capable he is capable indeed or she is capable indeed but because of the un bad government that statement which have been made today by the president adakoreti nairobi cannot reveal to kenyans that ruto cannot understand what economy is or he can't rectify the life that kenyans are passing through he can if he invest if he stop narratives and concentrate in his administration again i can view as it seems that is hopeless helpless regime in his administration he seen he, he just need to seek advice from the ex president uhuru kenyatta 
or the former Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga. And again, does he not see sinking leadership under his administration? Sinking leadership comes from just the comment I've, I've picked one. By the way, I picked it under what Ruto said today. That is a Kenyans, and it seems that the, the comment that comes from Kenya, our Kenyans, is likewise to his colleagues. That can tell you that Ruto's administration is sinking. Then lastly, <laughs> it, it seems that he wants vote sympathy. But uh, if things are tough in this four years, then let's give him a chance for another year. That one takes us to another analysis that Ruto have fear that 2027, God willing, he won't make it. What can you say on today's analysis? Don't forget to subscribe, watch the video, like the channel or the video, share and give us your opinion at the comment section below. I still don't want to forget you. I'm really, really appreciating you guys for the great effort. If you will consider to subscribe, if this might be your first time again, please subscribe like the video and share and god will bless you so much as we hope that our country is going to change and this is a lesson for kenyans i believe we will learn from victory let us not repeat this mistake again bye bye and i wish you all the best as we hope to meet on another analysis